Howdy folks, TJ here. Springtime. I'm getting excited to get out and Tankara fish again. It's been since uh, um, September of last year that I fished at all. You see here where I live in Northern California, uh, in middle of November, the season closes for local rivers and such and does not reopen until the end of April. Uh, we're just now a little after April Fool's Day. And so I've got a little bit more time to wait. And then with the tremendous amounts of snow that California had received and rain, uh, with the runoff, uh, I imagine I may not be fishing again for the rest of the year because this is going to be murky, muddy water crazy for a while. But I'm hoping by June, I don't know. But until then, let's chat about the Satoki Rod from Tenkara USA. So we introduced this the end of last year. John made a video for our website and you could buy it at the end of December. It's been doing phenomenally well, and I can't wait for more people to enjoy it throughout the 2023 season, kick back some notes about, hey, what did you like about it? And hopefully they have a wonderful fishing season with it. I can't wait to get out and use mine. Fortunately, we got to field test this rod a lot this last uh, year. Uh, the team, John, Jeremy, uh, Faith, Jen, uh, Justin, you name it. We all got out and enjoyed the Satoki, putting it through its paces. And so we feel pretty confident that it's going to be a wonderful rod. And so far, it's been doing phenomenally well, like I mentioned. So let's chat about the Satoki for a little bit. It is spring. It's 2023. Uh, do you need a Satoki? Well, why not? But let's chat about what it comes in. So like all of our rods, it comes in a very nice, uh, hard case tube that says Tankara USA on it. And all of our rods typically have a little rubber band wrapped around a piece of paper. That piece of paper tells you about the Satoki. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the rubber band. These rubber bands come in handy, by the way. I have them strapped around all sorts of things. But let's read first the little destruction note here about what Satoki is. And I better make sure I hit the record on here. I always forget. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, you know, see, when you get older, you get a little bit more forgetful. Uh, Satoki. So here is the nice little pamphlet booklet that's wrapped around the Satoki. And let's read about what the Satoki is. The Satoki is a great rod for anglers who find themselves fishing the larger ends of the spectrum but still refined enough to give the true Tenkara experience that's so important to us. At its shorter length in the Satoki is smooth, enough to be fished on small mountain streams, but at longer lengths has the length and strength, length and strength, get that, uh, for larger uh, rivers and fish. So this little booklet, not only it gets a little bit bigger, all of our rods come with this nice little pamphlet, two sides of print, that tell you how to rig up and use your rods. So I'm just, this is just a general, hey, this is this comes with it. But our website is worth a thousand words. We have videos that cover everything. We've got a wonderful book called Tenkara, the book that Daniel wrote back in 2017 that tells you how to Tenkara, what Tenkara is. There's little uh, video links in the book that show you all uh, that you can click on with your QR code and enjoy them on your phone or on your computer. So let's open up the Satoki. So like I said, all of our rods also on the end, let's see uh, if I could show this, have a nice screw cap that tells you which rod. Why is that important? Because many of us end up getting more than just one rod. Can you enjoy life with one rod? Absolutely. And the Satoki is one of those semi-jack-of-all-trades rods, uh, but it's nice to have... A couple. Uh, that way, when friends come over, you can kind of say, hey, check this rod out <laughs> and get more people to Tenkara. Uh, so screw off cap on all of our rods and shimmy the case. The case, again, is nice to throw in the back of your car, throw in your luggage when you're going on a trip, uh, just to give them a little extra protection. And they also come in a nice stretchy rod sock. So you'll see on this one, nice red sock. On one end, there's a little slit, and you unslit it and slip it out. You know what's cool about these is they also become wonderful headbands. I've tied one around my head. 
I've dipped it in water. Now it's going to, you know, if you dip it in a, a river that's a little, uh, got some rock snot on there, it's going to get on this. So typically most people won't use it for that. But if I'm hot, uh, I will, you know, dip one in water and wrap it around my head and it feels kind of good. Okay, Satoki. So hopefully the lighting in here will show this well enough. But the Satoki uh, is a wonderful carbon fiber uh, design. You can see the weave pattern in it. Now, I don't know if the camera will be picking that up. In fact, sometimes if the light, let me just kind of, I don't know if this will show it or not. I'll just kind of go around it a little bit with a flashlight. But when this rod hits the sun, you can see the carbon fiber weave. And it's a reddish brownish color. Satoki, nice, big, and bold, tells you what rod it is. And it's got all the lengths. So this is one of the, what we call triple zoom or zoom rods that you can fish in three lengths. And just everything about the design from a nice uh, foam handle that has a nice contour to it. So if you like to cast up here to shorten up the rod a little bit, in the middle, at the end, there's a nice taper to it. So you can feel good holding it in most any position. There's also, since it's foam, you can put some nice designs. For example, the Tay symbol is there on this. And also a Kabari that you can also, hopefully the camera's kind of picking it up. You can pick up the Kabari on it. And it's got a nice black and gray design to it. All of our rods, well, I should say the zoom rods, we typically send out two plugs because the odds are you will lose one. That's kind of the joke about Tenkara. Uh, so on the top of it comes one. And then when you get this rod, pull this one out because that hole is where you'll be putting the top one later and store this one away in a safe deposit box. <laughs> Whatever. Do they still have safe deposit boxes at banks? I have no idea. But anyway, uh, store it because you may lose it. Because when you are fishing, you will be pulling the top one and inserting it in our keep your plug system, which is pretty unique to Tenkara rods, and it stores it so you don't lose it. Now, the nice thing is this little Lillian material, which is a emergency Lillian, if you ever were to fray the top of your tip or break the very tip, as an emergency field fix, you can use this material with a Bic lighter uh, to, and we've got a video on that, uh, to service your tip in an emergency. But needless to say, uh, the Lillian's on there. gives you a nice little area to kind of pull it out and plug it back into the top of the rod. So on the other side, it says Tenkara USA. I'll hold it in a few different angles, so hopefully it picks up. And then all the lengths are written on here. Let me line them up a little bit here so you can kind of see. And again, I don't know if this will come up, but this uh, is a ten and a half, uh, roughly 10 foot 8 inches. 12 foot 2 inches, and 13 foot 7 inch. You'll see that we have all those lengths. I'll kind of rotate it around a little bit. We also have them in centimeters. Uh, I'm in the United States. I still go by inches, and I'm happy to go by inches. But we have it in both forms for whatever you like to read. And again, it's got a nice design. It's even got nice little red accent here that should be popping pretty good in the sunlight. And so with just everything about the carbon fiber weave design and even in the Satoki, there's a little Tay symbol if you kind of look close enough, which is really kind of cool. I don't know if this is focusing in on that or not. I'm using an iPhone 14 right now, and I'm still getting kind of used to it. So this rod is a zoom rod. So I'm not going to open this up because this room, uh, I'm going to be hitting the, the, the wall. But these two zoom segments do open up. And typically, you always want to remember, when you're opening a Tenkara rod, open from the smallest segment first which is the tip. You kind of pull the plug. You shimmy out the tip a little bit and you'll find the Lillian here on the tip. And then you start extending it first and you work your way back towards the handle. Closing it is exact opposite. You're going to close the largest segment that you had opened first, pushing it back into the handle. And you get back to the tip and then you just put this little plug back on. But the Satoki is a fun rod. And if you watched my previous video, maybe I should add it here. I did a little uh, short on YouTube. You can do shorts under 60 seconds that tell you about the rod. Satoki is a name that we came up with. Uh, the Sato is our best-selling rod. Phenomenal rod. My go-to rod for most everything. And so you take the Sato 
And then the word oki, which stands for big in Japanese. We have a fly called the oki kabari. Satoki, satoki. And the, and the video, maybe I'll splash it in here. Do it. So what happens when you cross a Takara USA Sato? Yep, Sato. With an Oki? Oki means big in Japanese. Sato, Oki. Sato, Oki. Sato, Oki. Satoki. Bigger Sato, bigger fish, bigger fun. Satoki. Big trout, big bluegill, big bass. I think I'm gonna have some big fish tails, oaky tails, to tell all the friends and family at home. That Satoki caught me a big fish. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> uh, if you watch that little uh, 60 second blurb, Satoki. And that's what we named it. We wanted a Sato that was a little bigger, a little beefier, a little bit of extra everything. Uh, and that's how we came up with the name. The neat thing is everybody at Tinkar USA had a play on the design of the Satoki. We're proud of it. We're happy uh, to get this in many people's hands. It's spring 2023. So hopefully you have room in your arsenal to add another rod. And if I were you, check out the Satoki. At 13 foot 7 inch, it is a pretty long rod, like our Amago, like our Ito, both very long rods, perfect for bigger waters, bigger rivers, or if you need a little extra leverage to land a little bit bigger fish than you were expecting. On the shorter length, it's still in the 10 foot zone, so you can typically fish tight areas once you learn how to use a level line and use a short level line on a 10 foot rod, you can hit some pretty tight spaces. Folks that go, oh, you can't take a 10-foot rod into these little tight areas. You can if you learn how to use level lines. So get yourself a spool of level line, nice short line, and you can knock out some really tight areas, even with a long Satoki. But at 10-foot, 8 inches, that's pretty short. That's under the average of 12-foot for your normal 10-car rod. And you can really have a lot of fun. So everything about the design, uh, a lot of fun with the Satoki. Again, a rod that we're proud of. And everybody at Tenkar USA had a hand in designing, thinking, colorizing, designing, and making a rod that we could be proud of. So hopefully, in another 10 years from now, we'll come back and go, holy smokes, the Satoki was really an awesome seller. To date, we've been selling a gazoodle of them. It is a fun rod. So springtime is here. Check out the Satoki. If you have any questions, of course, www.tenkarusa.com. Visit our website. You can email us at info at .com. We can answer any questions you have. We're a call away, so give us a holler. We're happy to chat about fishing anytime. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully that gives you a quick introduction, a little bit more than my short did, on what the Satoki, Satoki is all about. So have fun and have a wonderful fishing 2023 season. Bye.